I grew up in Soweto, um, in Dobsonville. Um, in fact, when I was still young, we moved around quite a bit. I've also lived in Durban, in Clermont, um, and also in Maseru, in Lesotho. Uh, so <laughs> I've, I've lived in, in, in quite a, a few places, but mostly I grew up in Soweto, um, and th that was before we moved to, to, to Santin um, in 1980 or so, so, which was actually during the Group Areas Act. <laughs> so we're living illegally <laughs> in Santin at one point. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I grew up in, in Johannesburg. Um, I went to Macaulay House, um, which was a convent at the time um, in, in Mill Park. Um, and, and after high school, I then went to the States for university. I, I always wanted to be a businesswoman. Um, I had very much been inspired by my father, who was a businessman. Um, but I wasn't quite sure what form that would take, whether it would be as an entrepreneur or in a corporate environment, you know. Um, and it was really over time that that became, you know, began to define itself. Um, and I think it's largely when um, I had an opportunity to join um, an investment banking firm um, that I then, you know, got into, you know, mergers and acquisitions and, you know, uh, project finance and, and all of that and um, gained an interest in, in, in the corporate sector. I actually, I have to say, I feel very fortunate to work in an organization such as Shanduka. Um, you know, when I used to look at the level of commitment that there is to making a difference in people's lives. Um, when Sir Ramaphosa, our chairman, committed 100 million rand towards the Shanduka Foundation in 2004, um, our company was, you know, virtually just over 300 million rands worth. The, the entire business. So to commit that amount of capital was hugely significant. Um, and that just spoke to the level of commitment um, that, that he had towards making a difference in people's lives. Um, obviously now the company has grown substantially, you know, beyond that. Um, but, you know, the commitment, you know, has continued to be there. Um, and, you know, as a result, I think we've seen, you know, tremendous um, efforts being made in order to make a difference in people's lives through the Shanduka Foundation's programs, um, where we have a focus on education and also on entrepreneurship. Um, and those two factors resonate very strongly with me, um, you know, because I believe that it is important for us as South Africans to be making a difference um, and, and really to be imparting whatever skills we have have to ensure that we can make a difference in, in the lives of other South Africans. I have the, the, the good fortune of being able to work closely um, with, with Cyril Ramaphosa and so to that extent um, I'm able to see that you know the manner in which you know he comes across um, is, is who he really is you know um, and so I, I can emulate that and know that it's you know it's something that's authentic. Um, and, and often when I speak to, to other people, because I often speak to young people, um, it, you know, I often say to them that it's so important that they, they select um, their mentors, um, you know, carefully. Um, because, you know, they, they, they must make sure that they, they, they have a better sense of who is really uh, this person. Um, are they what, what they are portraying themselves to be? I think you, you have to have a, a good sense of resolve. Um, it's important to have a, a good sense of conviction um, and, and really believe um, in some of the principles um, that, that are important for you in the decisions that you make. Um, because otherwise it can make you very unstable because with all of these situations um, you have to have a, sense, a certain level of stability. Um, you know, in everything, because you know you are, you know, you have to be the voice of reason. You have to be the one that's giving direction, um, and so it's it's important to be able to maintain that 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 sense of of calmness and conviction in terms of the principles that you uphold um, for the decisions that you make. Well, you know, I, I don't like to, to stereotype on, on what it is that, that women bring specifically. Um, but what, what I do say is that you, you need that, that diversity of thinking, you know. Um, and, and, and for as long as you've got the same people making decisions for an organization, you'll continue to have this myopic view um, of, of the vision of, of that company. So you need to have diversity of thinking and you'll only have that by having more of an inclusive culture in terms of gender um, and race and, and, and all of that. So we need to be having 
you know, companies being willing to, to, to hear different voices. And, you know, women, I think, bring all various forms of, of inputs, you know. Um, you know, many people say women bring the soft skills, you know. Um, and, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, some of the toughest people that I've met <laughs> were, were women, <laughs> particularly in New York. <laughs> so, you know, um, but, you know, when you look at today's society, the soft skills are probably the most crucial skills that one can have. Um, you know, that ability to interact, um, you know, with, with, with people and to be able to, to discern um, issues that, that are important and to be able to have a very balanced EQ. Um, you know, I think are some of, of, very, of the very important skills that we need in, in the corporate world today.